How's it going? Today what we're going to do is be putting, installing some wall mount toilets. Got them off of Amazon. They're made by Swiss Madison. Uh, Amazon special. Uh, they seem to be well made. I put the frames in a couple months back and mounted the frames in the wall. They were really well done. I thought they were... We had done Toto's before and I thought they were equal to the Toto. So they were well made. So we're going to be doing the toilets mounted on the walls and I'll show you some of this right here is the box they come in. Yep. Yeah, right here is the button. It's a two button style. Mounts on the wall right here. Have to cut this back flush to the wall all the way around you see it has has grooves in it so you cut it on the grooves you cut it back flush to the wall all the way around before you mount your button i want to do that i'm filming myself so i can't film it wall cutting it okay i have it cut off flush to the wall all the way around it's got a nice flush cut locking bars out and then we'll mount the plate. Another thing you always have to remember is you need to unhook your water line here and then turn on the water outside of this and drain any contaminants out of the water line before you install it. And I just did that. Drain the contaminants out. And then you have to put your components back together. So, super easy. And these right here that hold it in place. These right here I had to cut off. I had to cut off a small amount of them because they're a little bit too long. So you have to cut them off till they fit and they just drop in. And there's the button fully installed. Or maybe flat. You have to set these things to the proper depth in. You simply just poke it in, press it in, turn it to clicks, set to the proper depth. Put the button face on. It hooks in the bottom. Got to line it up, hook it, press it up, and it hooks on the top. Simple as that, fully mounted. Now to mount this, a little bit more complicated. Hi. 
we're back and we're going to be mounting this um, wall mount toilet stool on the wall. We just need to unpackage it first and I'll show you how you cut your pipe and trim it and mount it on the wall. So let's get started. Here it is, the Swiss Madison toilet stool. Let's unpackage it and see what's in there. Here's some mounting hardware. <clears throat> we'll need that later. We'll set it over here. The toilet seat, well packaged. Instructions. Here it is fully out of the box. That's the um, new for this right here is the toilet. And this right here is your hardware that goes in these two holes in the wall. And then your threaded bolts right here. Make sure they both turn smoothly. Got to untuck the dish. This is your drain pipe. I'm not drain pipe, but still fresh water to flush. And this right here is your drain. Here, let's get some grout around. I've got to get my glue. stuff up so it comes out and then we can measure and cut the pipe for it which is seems to be the most difficult part people have with mounting these is cutting and measuring okay first part is you have these pieces here this right here is for your water for your flush and this piece here is your drain pipe this is what drains it and we will take and mark these and they have to be marked and then you have to cut them off to the right length so the toilet will fit. Okay, the first thing is, after the hole is clear, be sure the hole is clean, there's no, no debris or nothing in the way. You wanna put this in the hole and shove it all the way tight to the back. And the same thing with this one here in the hole shove it tight to the back then we will mark it flush with the wall that is not where we're going to cut it but we're going to mark it flush with the wall that's your first mark you're going to put it's a mark flush with the wall on both pieces okay there mark flush with the wall got my mark all the way around of it here got a mark flush with the wall then you turn it around and poke it into the hole here. Push it all the way in. And then you'll mark it flush here. Put a flush mark here on it. Then you measure the distance between and you cut that off the back of the stem. You mark it here, measure this, and cut that much off the back here. And that will be your correct measurement for mounting that. Same thing with this one here. You slide it on. Be sure to slide them both in all the way. Then you want to mark it here. Mark it here. You'll need to get a square and run across here. Put your square across here so you can mark it. Put your 
square across like this so you can mark it. And you know exactly where your mark goes. there. Once you get your mark, then you measure it and cut it off. All right. Get these cut off to length. Both pieces cut off. And if you do make a mistake and cut off too short, you can buy another one, but you'll have to order it through Amazon. Your local plumbing house is not going to have it in stock. They can order it though, but you could just or through Amazon, it's about, I think $8. It's not very expensive if you cut it off wrong. I'm gonna be sure you get the seating all the way in. That way it's gonna seal properly. And that's all there is to that. This particular toilet has some special mounting hardware because it just has a little hole here and no place for a bolt. So it has special mounting hardware, which we'll put on it right now and then we'll mount it to the wall. Right here for a little box of the mounting hardware. right here which will go thread onto here and this right here which will mount to the toilet stool and it has a pin that comes in the side and locks it onto this pin when you slide it over let me get them mounted in the toilet okay you gotta hold the inside piece and I line my bolt up with that so the holes lined up and then you tighten this little plastic bushing up until it holds it in place. Here's what that piece looks like. This right here unscrews out of it. Two pieces. You have to reach in behind and poke this piece in through the back of the hole. And then you screw this piece into the front. And you need to put your little Allen nut into the side. You put your Allen nut into the side right here before you put it in. Here is your Allen nut. You need to place this right here into here. Be sure you get started in there before you put it in the hole because it's hard to get back to once you get in there. these right here on here they'll be facing out like that way you need to measure from the center of here to the back wall be sure that measurement is the center of this hole to the back of here and when you get that measurement the same then you'll be ready to slide the toilet on and mount it you just gotta be sure that you measure from the back wall here to the center of this notch here is the same as the center of this hole here to the back of the toilet here. Be sure the measurements are the same. And then you'll be ready to slide your toilet on and mount it. All right, we're ready to mount the toilet. We got this pad on to keep from scratching the toilet or breaking your ceramic. And then we'll mount the toilet. We're gonna mount the um, toilet seat. These are extra brackets for it. They're super simple, you just plug them in. Push it down, and then you'll go line the toilet seat up on it and then tighten them in place. This right here is chrome covers that just stick down over when you're done and make it look pretty. But we'll just line up the seat and get it on there first.
Got it lined up, got it tightened up, last little bit. Off. Then you put the covers on. Snapping the seat on is quick, really. So my pillow is blue paper off. All right, chrome covers are put on. Then you just simply line the seat up and pop it into place. And it's got a it's low speed. Close this nice and slow. And quick removal, you just press a button here and press the button here and it pops right off. Super easy to remove. One final piece and it is done. And there's a complete wall mount toilet. Super simple, super easy. Just takes a few minutes to do and you need to measure it properly.